Well, we're back. Howdy. This is Mr. B. Mr. Sam's here. Hey, what we want to do today is uh, kind of get you an introduction to kind of uh, a little bit about ourselves. So uh, I think it's uh, Mr. Sam's turn today. Yeah. So, Mr. Sam's, tell me a little about like when you were like in high school. I know that was like forever ago. Yeah, well, that's not one that long, 15 years. 15 years? Yeah, yeah. it's been a while. I, I don't want to ask how long it was. Um, yeah, yeah so. I, I, let's see, I, I always liked science and stuff, but I was really into so music. So you're a science geek? Yeah, sort of, but I was really into music. I music, actually started really? Out, I started out college as a music major. Music then major? Then I switched to science. I was a trumpet player. Trumpet? Oh, you kind of look like a trumpet guy. Yeah, kind of jerky and arrogant, yeah. <laughs> We, that, that's kind of how we typically are. Yeah, but that was my that was my band. Your thing was, I was in trumpet. band and jazz band and, and orchestra and all, all sorts of stuff like that. So yeah. you like went to school like music scholarship or whatever. Um, yeah, I did until nice. I switched majors and I lost so, that one and had so to scrounge up some cash. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. Yeah. So the music major introduction yep. to the music major, cool. Well, folks, what we want to do today is we want to talk about the properties of matter. Yes. And Mr. Bergman has a pin problem. He must turn his pin on. Yes. I see. There we go. I have the pin on the properties of matter. Yeah. So, so matter. What's yeah. up with the matter? What's the matter? Well, um, <laughs> that was dumb. what's the matter? Yeah, I won't do that again. <laughs> Ouch. Whoa. Painful, man. Yep. All right. What is matter, Mr. Sam? Well, it matters anything that has mass. Mass. Okay. Mass. And a volume or takes up space. Mass and volume. Okay. Yep. So let's talk some more about that. Oh, well, we have a rock. A rock. A rock has mass. Yeah, I think and so. And it also takes up space. Takes up, uh, that rock takes yeah. up a lot of space. That's that does. a big honking rock. Yeah, I went on a hike with my son last weekend, and he learned about moss and lichen and all oh, sorts nice. of fun stuff. Yeah, That's cool. He's or here we have uh, like uh, an ocean. An yeah, ocean, of yeah the, so the liquid, the water in there, it has a mass and also takes up space, yeah. so it's matter. That would make sense, yeah. yeah. Now here we have a picture. That's kind of an odd picture. Ooh, dry ice. That's dry like. ice yeah. right there, guys. And dry ice, you can't really tell. This is, a, what is, actually, what is well, dry That's a ice? solid. It's solid carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide, yeah. yeah. And, and it's and also, it looks like it's turning into um, gaseous carbon dioxide. Yeah, so what you see here, guys, is you can see, I'm going to change the color here for us, is that right through here is it's turning into a gas. Yeah. Now, right. do, is, do, do gases, uh, are they, do they have a mass? Gases have a mass? Actually, yes, they do, Mr. Sims. Really? A lot of people think that gases have no mass. You might think of it as kind of weight, not exactly the same thing. Uh, take physics and we'll teach you how that works. But um, they have a very, very small mass. Yeah. So And they take up space. They, they fill do. the room. I'm breathing some yeah. gas right now. Yeah, don't believe me. Move your arms around. Flap them around like a bird and you can actually feel stuff. Yeah. You feel that? <laughs> yeah, I bet that was There's loud. Hopefully <laughs> they have headphones on. Um, <laughs> but it has a mass and it takes up space. You can feel that it. it's there. There, yep. it, there. There's something there. It's not just nothing. Yeah, Gas indeed. is something. Now, uh, matter has different properties. It does. So let's talk about that. So let's talk about density. All right, so what I've got right here is I have two different uh, uh, metal cylinders. The first one is made of uh, copper, and the, I think the second one is aluminum. Looks like aluminum. Mm -hmm. And so um, what would you say about their volume? It looks like the volumes are about the same. Yeah, they're the same size yeah. in terms of volume. But um, if I hold them, one thing I can notice is that one is much heavier. So let me show you that okay. on the scale. So if I put the copper one on the scale, you can see it has a mass of 56 and some change grams. That's in grams. All right. And if I take the aluminum and put it on to the scale, he only weighs like 17, almost 18 wow. grams. A lot less mass for the same amount of volume. Yeah, so the, the same volume, if you were to have these in your hand, you would say, whoa, this one is really heavy. The copper one is heavy. The aluminum one is light. So that's a good illustration of density. It's really the mass divided by the volume. All right, the second thing we want to talk about is temperature. So if we come over here with the camera, I happen to have two flasks filled just with water. And I have a temperature, uh, or a thermometer, pardon me, and this is a, what we call a digital thermometer. I'm going to push the on button right here, and it's warming up right there. And it's got degrees Fahrenheit. I don't know Fahrenheit? I'll turn Who put that. it in Fahrenheit? Which child did that? And so if we see this, it looks like the room temperature is like 26 degrees Celsius. And so I'm going to put the thermometer into the first container of water, and we can zoom in on the temperature. And it looks like we're at uh, 20 two and some change degrees Celsius. And I don't know if you notice this in this second uh, flask, but you will see that I have a small amount of ice. And so, uh, so there's ice water, and so it should be close to zero degrees. It's been sitting for a while, so it might be starting to be a little bit warmer. Now what are we actually measuring when we measure temperature, Mr. That's Martin? the important thing to understand. When you're measuring temperature, you're measuring what's called the average kinetic energy. 
to kind of put that in a more easy term, you're actually measuring the speed of the molecule. Speed, is that another property of matter? Yes, in fact, we could talk about it. Let's talk about speed of particles. So let's talk about the difference. What's the difference between the warm water and the ice water? Well, if it's warm, they're probably moving faster. Yeah, so if you were to somehow get at the molecular level, you would see the molecules zooming around. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Ouch, my <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Uh, they'd be moving quickly. Now, in the ice water right here, you would see them moving slowly. You like that? Yeah, you're going to love that when you see that. Slowly. You'll think something's wrong. So, it's moving very, very slowly because the molecules are colder. Okay? Now, another physical property of matter is actually speed. So, how could I illustrate speed? Uh, hmm. Oh, we skipped one, Mr. Sams. What did we skip? Temperature, volume. Yeah. Well, volume, these have volume. I think that's obvious. And uh, speed. All right, so let me see if I can do this without killing myself. Mr. Bergman, I come over here. And of course, when you are moving, you have? A speed. Speed! So! Wow, he's so fast, I can't keep up with him. There you go. Run. And back. And lastly... Mr. Berkman runs triathlon stuff. Yes. In fact, I have my USA triathlon uh, t-shirt on today. And lastly, you can also have color. I mean, this isn't an exhaustive list, no. but my vitamin water um, is uh, reddish because this is the... Kind of matches his shirt. Blueberry pomegranate. Ugh. Special. Special flavor. So what's color doing? How, what, what makes something have a color? What actually, that's a good thing. Color's an interesting thing, is that actually it's, it's a reflection of light. And so we're in a room that has white lights from the, from the uh, top. And so as it um, comes into my red shirt, interesting thing happens. Actually, all of the light, all, white light is actually a mixture of all the colors of light. Red, orange, yellow, blue, green, indigo, and violet. And so all those colors hit my red shirt, for example, and only one color bounces off. And that would be red. So it absorbs everything but the red colors. All right, and that is not an exhaustive list. There are a bunch of other physical yes. properties, but there's a start for you. Okay.